Hi church, thank you so much for joining me for today's Summit Up devotional. I am Jennifer Alessio and I serve at Heights Church as our children's pastor. And today we're going to be talking about bold faith. And specifically, we're going to be talking about the bold faith of the Roman centurion. Now this story actually is mentioned in two gospels. It's mentioned in Matthew 8, as well as Luke 7. And today I'm actually wanting to talk about the account in Luke 7 because I love how the Jewish elders talk about him. Because you see, this Roman centurion was not an insider of the faith. He was an outsider. He was Roman, obviously. And he was a great leader in the Roman military. He was a leader over 6,000 men. And he was known for being very kind and generous. And he clearly had a kind heart because he cared enough about his servant that he sent Jewish elders to ask Jesus to heal him for him. And he did this because he had heard what Jesus has done. He had heard about the miracles that he had performed and he had great faith. He had bold faith that if Jesus said so, it would be done. He believed that if he asked Jesus to heal his servant, he would do that for him. And I want to read for you what um, Luke tells us about him from Luke 7, verse 4. When they came to Jesus, and these are the Jewish elders, they pleaded earnestly with him. This man deserves to have you do this. Now think about that. This man was such a good man that the Jewish elder, elders pleaded on his behalf to Jesus. And I think that's worth noting. This man deserves to have you do this because he loves our nation and has built our synagogue. So Jesus went with him. I think that's so amazing that a man outside of the Jewish faith was known for loving the Jewish nation and so much so that he built them a synagogue. So Jesus went with them. But this man was also very humble. And so he didn't feel worthy enough to have Jesus enter his house. I don't know about you, but there's times when I myself haven't felt worthy to come to Jesus. Of course, Jesus was happy, would have loved to have gone to his house because Jesus already determined that he's worthy. He determined that all of us are worthy, but he honored the man. And so he agreed when after um, the Roman centurion, he sent servants ahead and he said, no, 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 please don't come to his house. He doesn't feel worthy to have you come, but he just knows that if you say that man will, that his servant will be healed now, that he'll be healed. And this is what Jesus said. He was amazed. And this is from verse nine. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him and turned to the crowd following him. He said, I tell you, I have not found such great faith, even in Israel. Then the men who had been sent returned to the house and found the servant well. Jesus had compassion and he was amazed at this man's great faith, who was an outsider. He wasn't even part of the Jewish nation. I know a time in my life where I felt like an outsider. I had just um, recommitted my life to Christ and I had, um, I was so overjoyed to be living my life for God. I, I was so grateful at the acceptance and the love and the forgiveness that I had received from him. And I knew that the Lord had put it on my heart that he wanted me to join a small group, but that required me to step out in bold faith. I had to go and sign up. I had to follow up and, and respond to an email that I got from at the time that is my now husband. He was the leader of the group. I didn't know that. I also have to say, I was not pleased that a man was leading this young adult group. I would have been much more comfortable if a woman had been leading it, but I just felt like I wanted to honor God. And, and so I, I chose to step out in faith. And this small group wasn't even at church. It was in a home group. So I had to go to somebody's home that I wasn't familiar with and get to know a whole group of young adults I've never met before. But I did it. I stepped out in bold faith because I trusted Jesus. I trusted that he loved me, that he had my best interest in mind, and that if he was calling me to do this, that it would bring about good things in my life. And it did. I met 
some young women that are still my best friends today, and I met my husband. And all of that happened because I stepped out in bold faith. And so I just wanna encourage you today, if you're feeling like an outsider, that you can trust Jesus and that you belong with him. You belong in the family of God. And if maybe, maybe he's calling you to do something that is outside of your comfort zone, I encourage you to step out in bold faith and trust him because he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And he always has good plans for your life. And if he's calling you to do something, he will follow through. He will do it. He will bless you. All you have to do is trust him and see what he is calling you through to the end. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you have a blessed day and we'll see you next time.